Y'all done messed up, boy. Y'all done gave me wings. Boy, what? Good morning, y'all. Good morning. It's actually morning. Good morning. Guess what we about to do today? We're about to go take a boxing class. I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, eh? Because when I wanted to take a boxing class, like, I thought, you know, but from what I'm understanding, like, it's kind of like a cardio thing. And yeah, that's cute and all, but I really want to learn how to box. So anyway, we're going to try it out. I'm going to Pepper Boxing in Buckhead. It was recommended to me a while ago, and I'm just now about to go check it out. I think what I might want to do is like take um, individual boxing lessons. But yeah, somehow I think this is more about... Why is this supplement open like that? And it got everywhere. Whatever. Um, I think that this is more about... Um, getting your heart rate up and cardio than it is about boxing and that's what I want to do. Like I actually want to learn how to box. I probably should not be taking a supplement that was slick open but this is Blind Trust in EHP Lab. So yeah. Anyway this is the Oxy Shred um, Hardcore and Watermelon Candy that I was telling you guys about when I Got it in the um, the mail. This powder is everywhere. It's everywhere, and I don't have time. Just get it off of me, Lord. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying it. I'm gonna put some L-glutamine in there. Uh, really need this is for gut health. But I want to taste and see what this tastes like before you put the L-glutamine. The L-glutamine is tasteless, but in my opinion, it does have like a little bit of a sour. Just a little bit. So, I just want to see what this tastes like. Solo dolo. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's put our El Blue Mini here. Ah! All this powder stuff is just not fun getting on y'all. Getting on you. But I take a scoop of this. And this is like my stack this morning. I have so much stuff in the stack. I should add some collagen in here. I'm gonna add some collagen. Stop playing. Since this is the OxyShade Hardcore, I don't think we need to put no L-carnitine in there. Um, I need some more in there. I have like just a little bit left. But I'm gonna add some collagen because that skin needs to glow. Yeah. Something. Do something. Collagen. Can you do something for me? Y'all see these bags under my eyes? No, because I have a filter on my camera. But yeah. They there though. So collagen, go ahead and do something for me real quick. Alright. Um, this My class is at 1035. And this place is probably like 10 minutes away. If that. And it's 1006. So I'm kind of early. But better early than late. Yeah, that didn't really do nothing to the flavor. I don't want to drink all this too soon. I have my water. Well, 20 minutes before. I have my water. I'm going to put a jacket on. Um, yeah, now y'all know I'm not taking this big ass camera with me. Uh, I'm going to try to get a clip or two on my phone, but it's kind of hard trying to do that in class. It's not even knowing what I'm walking into. But I'm going to tell y'all about how it go. And then when I leave, I'm going to go to Whole Foods because I don't have any more bagels. I probably don't need to go to Whole Foods for that. I can go to the police by my house. Why well, I'm trying to make up an excuse to go to Whole Foods. Because <laughs> I want to re-up on my doggone um, Olipop. 
but maybe later because I need to also go to Target or Walmart, but probably Target because it's by the house to get some neem oil for the plant y'all was telling me about and various errands today. Plus, I have a dinner to go to later. So, yeah. Let me demo real quick. So, for the first 45 seconds, you Y'all, 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 I have found my thing, I found my thing, I found my thing. I know I said I wasn't going to go to um, Whole Foods first, but literally uh, I went to Pepper Boxing and it was like literally behind the Whole Foods. Like it would just be stupid not to go, so I did. So before I get into my little spill, I'm going to show y'all everything I got. The same old, I have been addicted to the dog on Dave's Killer Bread raisin, the cinnamon raisin ones. Gas, 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 so good. I went through a whole thing this week. I'm about to have a steak, egg, bagel. That's what I had yesterday. This is so good. And it's 12 grams of protein. This bagel, fire. I even had it like with ham and Swiss. Fire. I love like the cinnamon kind of thing. I've been craving my dog on Rise and Shine juice. This is not the one I got last time that I said was like real spicy like. Um, this is more sweet. It's apples, pineapples, grapes, mangoes, and ginger. This shit is $12, y'all. Like... But I love it it's so good. I got some garlic parmesan wing sauce. Momentarily, you'll see why. I got these Greek, these mango Greek yogurt bars. Something sweet, little 80 calorie, little sweet, four grams of protein. Can't beat it, can't get mad at it. What's up? Then I bought some wings because I was like, all right, I'm gonna make air fryer wings tomorrow um, with a salad and potatoes. If my a salad if this lettuce in here is still good. Because I always, y'all know I be letting stuff go bad. I think it's okay. So we need to go ahead and eat it. And I have uh, potatoes left. Yeah, it looks good. So we should be good to have a salad tomorrow. And I'll be a little Sunday dinner for our wings. Garlic, garlic parmesan wing sauce. Um, and then y'all already know. Y'all already know what I went for. And hey, the one and not the two. Okay, I have decided that Olipop is shitting on Poppy. Like, for real, I I had a Poppy the other day. It was an orange one, and it was less than, uh, it was lackluster. But y'all know I love my Olipop, the banana cream. I told y'all that when I go to Whole Foods, the one particular, no, I'm not going to tell y'all where it's at. Oh, well. Look, I'm grabbing every one. So, last time I went, I think they had three. And this time, they had only three. And I grabbed every last three of them. Every one. And then I got three more. But this is just grape, which is probably good. I got grape. And then I got a orange one. So, yeah. That's all I got from Whole Foods. Nothing really. I really went for my Olipops and my bagel, honestly. And my Rising Sign Juice because I been wanting it. And then I was like, damn, I'm kind of in the mood for some wings. So, I got that. Y'all, I had found my thing. Boxing, y'all, that was so fun. That was like, it's cardio, we jumping around, we did some jumping jacks. And it's like, I don't know if it was the Oxy Shred Hardcore, or if I just really liked it, but usually when I'm, I, first of all, I don't like class workouts. I don't like class workouts. And then if I am gonna do it, like yoga is kind of been a thing. I have still yet to try Pilates and stuff, cause I'm not, I don't like cardio, honestly. Like, I don't like nothing that, nothing that ain't lifted. But I really enjoyed myself and had a good time. I felt like it was a stress relief. I didn't feel like I wanted to quit in the middle of it. I just, it felt good. So you know how I'm always gotta be different. I always gotta be different. All the girls are Pilates and oh my gosh, we're gonna go do cycling. No, nah, baby, let's box. Big snow, what's up? Like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know why I gravitate towards like, Hard, rough shit, but yeah, heavy weight lifter, want a box, I don't want to do no damn yoga. Nah, let me stop, because I, yoga is stretching, and I do like to get good, some good stretches in, so let me not try to shit on yoga, but basically like all that little soft girl shit, like baby, that just ain't me. I really, really like boxing to the point where like I definitely want to take it seriously and like take some one-on-one -on -one classes, and they told me it's like $100 per class. 
I'm with it. Like, I wouldn't take a class every week or nothing. But, like, I do want to get into that. I'm definitely going to be trying to hit up Pepper Boxing on Saturday. This like it's going to be a thing. But I would like to go uh, another time during the week. But also, make sure that I'm not overexerting myself to where my lips are suffering, of course. But, yeah, I just thought I'd tell y'all that it was lit. I really enjoyed myself. I had a great time. But I need to shower because let me tell y'all something about when you be sweating and this sweat dry, it stinks. <laughs> dry sweat stinks, okay? So I was in the car like, oh no, I need to take a shower before I make my little um, bagel and then we're gonna run some errands. I just need to make sure that I have ample amount of time to um, get ready for my dinner later, which, sorry, but y'all will not be a couple of me because I gotta keep it on the low. Don't worry about it. If you know, you know. Um, but yeah, so put this stuff up. Let me go ahead and hop in the shower because I am hungry. It's 12.30. I want to be out of this house by two. And because six o'clock is, oh, my reservations are at 6.30. That'll be here in a minute. Like it ain't even gonna, it's gonna sneak up on you. And I forgot everywhere I had to go run an errand. So, and then I need to, I do want to put my face on stuff. I need to get out of the house. I'm over here trying to think about which way I'm supposed to go. I want to go to a Pearson shop on Cheshire. And why don't I know? You know what? Did they ever finish that damn bridge? I don't know. It might be cut off. So I probably should use my um, GPS. I hate having to do that. Like I'm literally going down the street. Excuse you. Shit, I can't see your ass over this big ass truck. Anyway, y'all, let me see which way to go. Okay, let's see. Did they fix the bridge? Did they fix the bridge? It said go Linux. Right? Linux, that way. Okay, I don't know. We're just going to go this way. So, um, yeah, I want to go find, like, a nose piercing, like a... A ring. Oh, what if I put a ring on both sides, y'all? I don't know. We have to see. What the hell, y'all? We have to see. But I'm really looking for like a ring with like a stud on the ring, if that makes sense. Um, some stuff that I be seeing on Amazon. I actually got this idea from Kayla. <laughs> she has these damn beautiful rings. That's like they have like chunk of jewels on them i guess or whatever i mean i would get them from amazon but here's the thing i still probably will but honestly honestly y'all i don't think i know how to change out my nose piercings i really don't i did it a very very long time ago but for the most part um i just go to the piercing shops and buy it there and let them put it in for me that's a good thing to do. But the only downfall with that is the Pearson shop jewelry be high as hell. It be so high. I know it's because it's like really good jewelry, but that shit be, it don't be cheap. I tell you that the last time I went to the Pearson shop, I went to Colo um, at Little Five Points and I bought plugs and they were so high. They were like over a hundred dollars. I don't remember what it was about them or whatever. And the guy was like, yeah, this is some real good quality jewelry. Watch how they gonna be shining the light and all that. I mean, it was okay. Um, <laughs> this is my thing. I don't want nothing to turn on me. But um, I'm good with plated gold, stainless steel, right? And plated gold. Like, I'm good. I don't need it to be gold all the way through or whatever. And I'm not really a silver person. But I started getting the silver. Y'all know that because I um, bought that Gucci ring. With now that I think about it, it was three hundred dollars. Is it silver? Oh, of course it is. She, when I thought, why am I asking myself that? It better be for three hundred dollars. Come on, Tesla. 
Do what you're gonna do. Y'all know I do not like to be out here driving on the weekends, but here we are. What? Okay. I think they fixed the bridge. I think they fixed the bridge. Anyway, I wanna get the hoops for my nose with some jewelry on them. I don't know, we'll just see if they got something cute and then we'll see what the prices is. Cause I'm not, I'm not spending, no, not a significant amount for this whim of a purchase. I don't wanna do that. And then I have to go to Target to find the neem oil for the plants, which one of you said for Palmer to get rid of the gnats. But um, Rock had already told me that when I went to his house and I, he got a whole bunch of plants. So I had asked him and he was like, yeah, just get you some neem oil. Now this is the thing. Because on Amazon, I was like, okay, well I'm just gonna order some. And when I went on Amazon, I seen people in the reviews talking about how bad this neem oil smells. They're like, yo, it stank. It literally smells like shit. The, look, Palmer can get the hell on if he's gonna make my house stink. I'm not trying to do all that. I want Palmer to stay for aesthetic purposes, but this is why I just don't understand why we can't just rock with fake plants. Fake plants are cool. What? What is wrong with fake plants? I was doing fake plants just fine. Of course, I didn't have no big fake plants. So like Lily, Lily and ass, her size and stuff. Like I had money mitch size fake plants like little pot plants whatever and my brother tried to make me feel bad about it but see this is the thing fake plants don't die they're always beautiful they don't cause fucking nets and yeah they don't have any responsibility so if i gotta be a fake plant girl i don't know to tell you i'm just got to be a fake plant girl okay i'm trying to be a plant mom lillian is cool and money mitch is cool palmer why are there fucking nets in the house you can get the hell on and I can buy me a big fake tree if this is how you gonna kick shit, okay? But we're gonna see about this Nemo. I'm not finna be having it funky in the house trying to keep a plant. I'm not. Y'all, COVID still got stuff messed up apparently. I went to the um the prison place and they got you gotta have a demo appointment just to come in and look at jewelry to buy jewelry. Anyway, so he told me to come back at 3 for like a 15 minute walk-in appointment. But they opened up my favorite Target again. Y'all probably don't know. The Target damn in Buckhead, well, yeah. Oh, sorry, y'all. This the Lindbergh like one. Anyway, it doesn't matter because y'all don't live here. Most of y'all don't live here. It got closed down because it was like a fire or something. And this is my favorite Target. And it's back open. So I won. Let me go get this name oil and see if they got something cute to put on my body. I don't even see no damn mean oil. I really don't. I'm not gonna ask nobody because then she be like, this is plant food. I'll tell you what I did see though. Some fake plants that I can replace Palmer ass with. Like look at this. And this one right here is pretty. I know it's probably high, but it's okay, you'll have it forever. How much is this? I'm gonna have to just probably order it off Amazon like I have to do everything because this is insect repellent for your body more replacements for Palmer because they don't even have no Nemo they told me to go to Home Depot so it is upstairs this is $130 oh, it's pretty though I would I would do it I would do it Y'all, we all over the place in this vlog, but don't y'all remember when I was talking about redoing my bed and over? And we went to a uh, Crate and Barrel. They had that velvet quilt, but it was just a quilt. I might want a quilt instead of a comforter. I mean, I'm a hot sleeper. Mm. So when I was looking at these, and it's probably gonna be easier to wash. They have a light green one. Why is this man calling me? <sighs> I had to answer the phone, y'all, but yeah. I'm all over the place when I need to be trying to get up out of here because I got this appointment. Look at this. Not a velvet green one. Look at this little snake. That's not what I came here for, but that's really, really cute. And they have like this big old bag. That's pretty big, but that's not what I came for either. But it's cute. Anyway. So if I hurt you, let me know, okay? Okay. I was scared to stretch it because the jewelry I wanted was actually bigger. This is a little bit bigger than Oh, you this one is uh -huh. too? That's what I was looking at. So oh, you did you know that? Shit. How long have you had that one? Years. 
should be okay because I'm not gonna what force is that? it. Should it's an 18. It looks like you have a 20 in. Okay, no, the one we were looking at was a 16. Oh yeah, this is girl. I'm not doing that to you. That would you be, wouldn't have did it anyway. Hell no. Okay. <laughs> I would have looked at it and be like, hey, did y'all talk about this? They was like, it's probably going to hurt, but you know. It might be a little <laughs> tight, but if you've had that okay. for years, I think you'll be okay. Just let me know how you're feeling, because if it's real crazy, then I'll use a, um, a little taper that'll make it easy, but I don't think we're going to need any of that. Like for your ears? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just keep me in the loop with how you're feeling, okay? And this is a what? A, six, uh, a 16? You have a 20 gauge in. That's and an 18. And that's an 18, okay. yeah. So it is one size bigger. You see where your little gap is. There it is. How long have you had this one in? Years. <laughs> and I don't know how to change it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just looking for the seam because whoever put it in there did it really good. Uh, the piercing shot. Yeah. It might have been Colo. Colo. Cool. Yep, there it is. I got it. Yeah, they did real good because you couldn't see that little sucker. Make sure that doesn't pinch you. There we go. Oh, you okay. It's out. Oh it's my gosh. <laughs> but your piercing already looks like it's a little stretched. So you may not even feel this. Why is it stretched just from? Just wearing a ring and having it for so long. Like it doesn't look like a big hole or anything, but I could feel how easily I was able to um, rotate that, and I could see a little bit of a gap. And that is it. Just gotta close it up. You feeling okay? Eh. That was the worst of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely feel you can it. You feel it a little bit? Yeah. Because it went in really easy, so I wasn't sure if you were gonna feel anything or not. Just gotta close you up and then get a wrap a hold of that. There we go. You wanted that on top, right? Yep. Cool. So, how did you, how do you take this off? So just like the one you had in, I'll show, they bend. So we're at that gym, mm -hmm. that's where it bent. You wanna think of like a ketchup packet when you tear it like this. So you'll bend that open like that. But the reason why you have to do that is so that way it'll actually close back perfectly and it doesn't warp that shape. So it might be something, if you don't care about it, you can do whatever you want to with it later on. But if you wanna keep wearing it, you might want us to help you out with it. Cause you know how I was rotating that, just find the same, the same thing, mm -hmm. but this one's just a lot easier to find cause it's right there. I I'm, definitely feel it. Yeah. It might be a little tender today and tomorrow, but it shouldn't cause you any like issues or anything. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to go to dinner. Would y'all see my nose ring? This is not what I was trying to go for. I wanted something way more in your face. This is basically just a hoop with like a gem on the end. But, um, and then when you are far from my face, it's just like a regular fucking hoop. I'm not here for that. But they had, like, the ones that they had with, like, multiple ones. Like, it's real, like, diamonds and stuff. So, it was, like, $900. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to go shopping online to get what I need to get. But I don't know about the Amazon. Because I got one from Amazon before and it turned green on me. And I ain't trying to do that. But, um, I'll show y'all my outfit for dinner. Babes, leggings. This is a damn sweatshirt that's really really old it's actually a sweater not a sweatshirt fashion over i know i keep talking about i hate them and every time i get on here i'm like what is for fashion over because i don't got no clothes all of them old um because i don't go nowhere to be i really want to wear like a sneaker fit honestly y'all but i'm going to a steakhouse so i was like okay well let me dress up a little bit so then i have on these boots that are from akira and then my gucci Dionysus bag it's the silhouette for me Hi, I'm only coming back to talk about growth with y'all. I just got back from dinner and I was like, all week, I, do I look crazy? D don't you start this girl, we're going to bed anyway. Um, all week, I was telling myself, I don't lean on this damn sticky ass counter. Anyway, all week I was saying that um, I was gonna go to Crumble Cookie. I literally been waiting to go to Crumble Cookie all week to get a cookie. And I was like, I'm just gonna wait on Saturday because I know I'm going out to eat or whatever. So it's gonna be my day to have a cookie. It's Saturday. Don't want said cookie. Like, I went out to eat. Um, it was this person's birthday, so they, you know how they bring like a the little cheesecake or whatever. And we was eating off of that. 
And I had like two bites of that and I was like, I'm not really feeling nothing sweet. I'm good and full from my steak that y'all seen or whatever. I don't want the crumble cookie. <laughs> like I literally waited all week for this damn cookie and now I don't want the cookie. The old me would have been like, girl, we're going to get the cookie just off GP because we said we was getting it. The new me is like, I don't want the cookie and I damn sure don't need the cookie. I'm probably going to eat these leftovers and don't eat that either because I'm full. But I honestly probably just want to stuff myself. Actually, damn, I was going to say no because you got to tear it up in the morning. But I have just the steak bits left over. I don't know. I don't need to eat anything. But honestly, if I wanted anything, it would probably be like the little yogurt pop. I'm trying to teach myself not to eat when I'm not hungry and it's working so far because like I said, old me would have been all over that crumple cookie. But I really do not want that crumple cookie. Do I even want my leftovers? Them leftovers gotta be eaten though. Even if that other steak don't get eaten. I don't know. I should check my blood pressure with y'all. Oop. I'll be zooming in, yeah. I'm gonna check my blood pressure with y'all. So be a good vlogger today. Cause um it was okay this morning, but yesterday it was a little high. Yum, um, I don't know why you acting all excited in that bed because you getting in your crate. I tried to let you sleep out last week and you peed in the bed. I ain't forgot. <laughs> Y'all, why I'm trying to look at myself like, it doesn't matter what you look like now because you going to bed. I think the lighting just be off for me. Anyway, let me come up out. Look, <laughs> I don't have nothing on under this, but my bra, but it's fine. Just lift it up like that so I can get this good blood pressure. I checked my Apple Watch today. I closed all my rings. I did over 10,000 steps. It was a good time. Yum, stop pumping that bed. I really, really am so glad I found, um, kick, not kickboxing, boxing though, y'all. That was a great time. Like, so good that I still want to go back tomorrow, but... Probably gonna be sore tomorrow. I'll let y'all know. I know that ain't something that I should just be doing like OD because it is taxing on the body even though I was having fun. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that I'm recovering from my good strength workouts. Y'all, I hate this damn thing. I can never get it a firm grip. It gets stuck like on the little. My dad, I'm too fat. That's really what it is. Okay. That's good. I'll make it tight. Okay, y'all. Looking good. Looking good. All right. It's a little bit higher than it was this morning. This morning was 122 over 92. But that bottom number has went down to 88. Let's see if we can get it to stay on the screen. Um, while well, I call Mama Lorraine. What? I just wanted you to see. What is that bottom number? 88. 88, okay. And this morning it was 122 over 92. So the bottom number went down, but the top number went up. Um, okay. All right. I miss the body catcher, slot a gang soul snatcher. Ain't no regular F150, this a fucking rapper. No capper, street nigga, not a rapper. Chopper hit him and he turned into a booty clapper. Smith and Wilson, a four bell gang reppin'. We done baptized more niggas than the damn reverend. Kappa Alpha Me. Some discernment. You know, I, I've learned that them. If it's usually the empty wagon. That makes the most noise. Because they get uncomfortable when you start growing and they scared you're going to leave them behind. So what they do is they make noise. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't gonna, I, I believe I got some critics in here today cause y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you gotta learn to live with criticism. How you know? Because they criticized David. And he was the best king 
that Israel ever had. They criticized Noah, said he looked like a fool building on that ark, talking about rain. We ain't never seen no rain. They talked about him, criticized him, said he was crazy until the rain started falling. And when the rain started falling, them critics start knocking on the door. Jesus was criticized. He had to learn to live with criticism. And Jesus is better than you and I. And if he had to live with criticism, you got to get ready to live with criticism. Because when folk criticize, it keeps you from taking a risk. And so you'll stay in your comfort zone just to be accepted. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Criticism can hinder you from reaching your fullest potential if you don't learn how to handle it. And I want to help some Christians in here. If you're a Christian, you can expect folk to criticize you. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't get caught up living because other folk don't believe in you. And say, thank you, Jesus. You, I've been through pain. I've been through criticism. I've been through hurt. But I look at what you've done. And when God said it, that settles it. And can't nobody, somebody say nobody. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your husband, not your wife, not your granny. Nobody can stop God from doing what he wants to do. There is not much more I love more than sitting in a clean house. So I spent the whole morning. Yum, leave those bags alone. Go get your tail in the bed. Don't have no doll y'all or no kids. <laughs> I spent the whole morning like cleaning up, relaxing, had breakfast, watch TV. I was chilling. Um, I was supposed to, or I was supposed to, but I need to get my nails done really bad. I showed y'all, like, they are grown a lot. Y'all can't really tell because I have the French tips. But, um, yeah. But I don't feel like doing it today. Get somebody else to do it. So, I put, um, I'm deep conditioning my hair. Let me tuck the glasses. I'm deep conditioning my hair. Um, and I bought that steamer from Amazon that I never used. So, I was like, let me use it. The instructions say to put a plastic cap on for 15 minutes. Or for extra, you know, you under the dryer. So, I bought the steamer for a reason. So, I'm going to use it. I feel like, yes, that was all over the place. Like, I didn't even tell y'all I did get the neem oil and all of that. Whatever. Today's a new day. Um, we Y'all know we do better when we buy ourselves chilling. Because we don't have, like, distractions. Um, I'm going to use the neem oil in a minute. But I want to go ahead and sit with this. And then wash it out. Let me see. This is just like a little cloth looking thing. Oh my god, this is so cute. Ew. Why does it have a zipper thing on it though? Like, what are you zipping? Why would you need. Let me look at the instructions like I have to with y'all. I know I be messing around like I don't need the instructions and I do. This looks so cute though. Um, I can get the instructions out. If y'all hear that zoom zoom, that's my fan. You got hot in here because I got this hoodie on because I went outside. I should probably take it off. I should. But then I'm going to get cold. I'm going to just sit with it. That's why I got the fan on. Um, so, there are 10, 10 temperature control settings with low to high. Wash your hair. Dry with the towel. Apply conditioner. Turn the steamer on. Plug in. So, I don't know why this little cap thing zips off. I do, like, so you can wash it. But I have a cap on, so I probably don't need this part. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? This plastic thing zips off. And I am know because, like, they're thinking that this is, you know, going to come in contact with your hair and you need to wash it. But since I already have a cap on, I don't need that. And I can just put the steamer directly on my head. It gotta be that. It gotta be with this one. Okay, what is this? Did they give you bags? Oh yes, they gave you cats. 
how they came. I opened that one up. They gave you caps. Um, let me just make sure. Why they give you caps? I do that. Want you to use a cap with it? I don't know y'all, but I'm gonna just take it. Is this? I don't need that part because I had this cap in there. Um, we're gonna just plug it up. Here we go. I'm tired of buying stuff from Amazon and not using it. Y'all know I still ain't used that dog on label thing for my shoes. Why have I not labeled my damn shoes? Like, why? What is the reason that you can label your own shoes? I don't know. Still got the same boxes from the Nikes and the Landings. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you gonna just destroy the clean house and make sure that there's shit everywhere. Why is my phone ringing talking about some Walgreens? Speaking. Hi, this is Cindy from Walgreens. I see you picked up a prescription from us recently for lisinopril hydrochlorothiazide. I'm just reaching out to see if you have any questions on that medication I can answer for you. Um, nope. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day. Bye -bye. Thanks. You too. Okay. Um, so turn this on. It's on level eight already for 30 minutes. I'm not going to sit here for 30 minutes. I might sit here for 30 minutes. Look, I look crazy. Look at this. Girl, oh my God. Do it even? Yes, it's long enough for me to sit. Yo, get away from those bags. I'm finna put them up. Get in the bed. Now y'all going to be like, why are you yelling at him? Because he doesn't fucking listen. Messing with them bags of trash. And if you get up and do it again... I really did like somebody mama with this cap on doing all that. Anyway, y'all. Y'all can see I pulled down my um my uh blinds. I wanted to say curtains. They're not curtains, my shades. Cause I was sitting on the couch. I never sit on my couch and watch TV. Cause I always go get in the bed, but I'm getting up out of that because baby, I pay a lot of money not to sit in my living room and enjoy. So I don't know why I don't be out here. I be in the bed, but I made my bed up today. I cleaned my room really good. Actually, y'all didn't see that. But I vacuumed in there. I cleaned off my vanity. I wiped off my um, like my little case where my purses and stuff is. I just cleaned my room real good, and I decided I wanted to keep the bed clean. So I was like, let me sit out here, cause I never do. And I've been watching my big TV, which is crazy, cause y'all know I had that little TV in my room on the wall. And I never come out here and turn the big TV on. I don't know why, girl. But it's on today. So, I'm about to sit here. And then, I'm going to holler at y'all. This why I don't be out here. Y'all want to know why? That's why I don't sit out here. I'm, I'm glad he didn't move. That's why. Can't have a moment of peace. And then he come over here. That's why. Young, please, no. Do not get on this couch. You are filthy. No. Personal space, please chill. Thank you. Look, play with your toy. Have yeah, roll all on that bed. It's yours. Do what you need to do. Yo, why well, was talking all that shit about how I was not gonna be sitting here for 30 minutes? Been sitting here longer. Had to restart the timer. Soon as I get on the camera and talking. It's, it's really like a child, y'all. He been over there. I've been over here. It's been good. Soon as I start getting on the camera and talking. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye. We didn't need you. Keep it moving. And you better not go over there with them bags, Ed. You not slick. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> he like, no, bitch, what's that shit you talking? Yo, get, get down. Get, get down. No. Get down. Yo, I'm really about that life. He really ran up on me. Like, what? you said what? What's that shit you talking? He really ran up on me. I can't believe this. I really, really like that deep conditioner, y'all. I feel like it made my hair look good. But my hair always looks good when it's wet. It feels really good and hydrated though. It is time to give our babies love. This is Lily. If y'all are new here, she's a peace Lily. Or well, her, her name is Lillian. <laughs> she's a peace Lily. Gave her some water. She hasn't drooped on me though, so I guess I'm doing good. Time to come over here to Money Mitch. 
He's a money tree. That's money, Mitch. He's good. Now, Palmer is the one causing all the problems, but because he causing the problems, everybody getting some neem oil today. Um, he gonna need more water. He needs a whole cup to himself. This is actually two cups. I have a measuring cup. So it's actually two cups. <sighs> Come on, Palmer. You've been you're the one who has caused the issue. So now we gotta have neem oil for everybody. Make sure you get all of this. I try to water them. Well, I actually do water them like once a week. Or whenever whenever Lillian starts throwing a fit, everybody gets water. So she's not droopy right now. She's okay. I don't know. She looks like she could possibly droop tomorrow. But she won't now because she has water. So if I don't remember to water them once a week, then everybody gets water when Lillian starts acting up. So I heard this neem oil smells like literal shit. And like I said in the blog before, if it smell that bad, baby, Palmer, I don't know what to tell you. Cause we can't have the house stank cause of you. So let's try it. I guess I'm just gonna spray it all over him. If this is wrong, y'all will let me know. But yeah. I don't smell nothing, so okay. If y'all, I don't know if I'm supposed to spray the leaves. The instruction says the entire plant. Go! Dang. You want some neem oil on you? You already stank. I done got on my hands. Mm, it has a slight smell. I think they ain't overdoing it. Oh my God, y'all. I see the bugs. I see the bugs in Palmer's fucking soil. Y'all move. Oh my God, y'all. It was him. I see them. Oh my God. They're all like moving around. It was you. I knew it was you. Well, y'all told me this was going to happen. Some of y'all literally was like, he going to give you next. And I see them. Get y'all asses. I'm spraying all this dirt, all up in it. I'm probably overdoing it, but I'm mad because I done seen them. I don't smell it, so okay, cool. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> Lily and Money Mitch, y'all gotta get it too. Just cause Palmer was with the shits. So we everybody's getting some neem oil. But it's not y'all. Look, everybody suffer. Do y'all remember when y'all mama was like everybody gotta get a whooping? If I don't know who did it, everybody getting a whooping. I mean, we know who did it, but everybody has to get it. <laughs> everybody getting it. I'm spraying this stuff. It better not stink the way it's getting all on my windows and stuff. Okay. It, it has a slight smell, but it ain't crazy. They was doing the most on Amazon. Y'all, I see gnats all over here. We're going to see if this helps. Let me know anything else y'all think I should do. Even though, like I said, Rock had already told me this before, y'all. But y'all was looking out, too. Let me know if I did it right. It don't stink in here, so I guess we good. Y'all, look what came from Amazon. Uh, I got a lint shaver, remember? We were talking about the Naked Wardrobe shirt. Sure, ain't this so cute? That's the battery. It's 95% charge. And then you can make it, you know, high power. Wait a minute, though. This thing... How do you charge it? Because this show didn't come with no... And I don't see... Here we go. I'm so sick of Amazon's ass. It has to charge. It says charging status. How do you charge this? Replacing blades. Charging. Fully charge the product before using for the first time. This product comes with a lithium battery. So it does, but it just didn't come with a charger. Where is the cord? Oh. Oh, yes. I mean, it does. Oh, it did come with one too, and I lied. I lied. Ooh. Anyway, I don't know where that shirt is. I just washed it. I'm finna get out the dryer. Before we make our, it's eight o'clock. We finna make our wings in the air fryer and all that. Y'all already know the deal. Before we get ready to KO call tonight, it was a really chill Sunday. I'm not mad at it. Oh, I went downstairs to my um, apartment gym, and I walked on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. 
Um, just I wasn't trying to exercise because it's my rest day, but just so that I'm not literally just sitting in the house doing anything. I did do that. But let me go find that shirt so we can test out the lint remover. So here is the infamous naked wardrobe shirt. And here it has a lot of these all on little lint things. And it's really, y'all can see that good. It's really like where the fabric will rub together. So like if you had this shirt on, this is your underarm part. And this is the part, you know, and it's rubbing. And that's what creates the lint balls. Not that we care. We just want to get rid of them. But um, I love Naked Wardrobe, y'all know. So I was like, damn, I really love this shirt. How do I fix this? And I'm so glad <laughs> that there's actually a solution. So y'all can hear it cutting them off too. And I love how this is safe, like it won't hurt you. And like I know some of y'all were saying use a razor, but it'd be careful because it could put a hole in it. This is a safer this bed look. I know my mama gonna be trying to buy it. No, I don't hear Lorraine. Actually, I'm gonna call her. It works so good, y'all. Look. And then the little lint right in that little window. Y'all see those little black dots? That's from the shirt. Now I know you're gonna try to get one of these. I already know. Baby. So this remember I was talking about this in the vlog? Yeah. Uh, told you to get that. I don't have them balls on my clothes. You see it came off? But my clothes are not that old and rusty baby. This ain't old, you tried it. Okay. But look mama. Probably a year. Look, you see how it just come off? And what you pay for two dollars? No, this was Nikki Wardrobe. You tried it. And you see the little black stuff in there? That's from the shirt. So like this, it cuts that. it off. I don't need that because none of my clothes have balls on them. Now. Okay, girl. All right. Well, yeah, Sam might need that. I don't need that, baby. All right. You jealous? No. Okay, bye. Bye. I don't have no. Do 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 This is so cool. Thank y'all, because I don't know how I didn't know this existed. It is so cool. It's actually, like, fun to use. Now I ain't got to be crusty no more. This is so cool. Amazon literally just has everything. That is so cool. And then, show y'all again, we take it out. Look, all the little fabric is inside of there. That is so cool. Y'all, look how Whole Foods wants you to open their chicken. They pack it like, kind of like a vacuum seal. I love it. And then it just, oh, it's like airtight. It's not like, don't you know how like Walmart and Publix have the styrofoam thing and they wrap it in plastic? Like this was packed. Does it even say that what it was? It's no retained water. It says 100% air chill. I liked it. It was like vacuum sealed. But y'all know that Whole Foods going to do it every time with the little wings. Look how little these wings are. Come through Whole Foods. Okay. I'm about to get my wings from Whole Foods. I don't see no hair on them. And when I say hair, I mean like y'all know the little bits of feather. That pisses me off. I hate seeing hair on my chicken. Whole Foods. I stopped eating chicken like for a while because I, every time I would buy chicken and try to make it at home, it would be like feathers on them and it would irritate me. And Whole Foods cleaned this chicken good, baby. Lorraine, get your chicken from Whole Foods. Stop playing, girl, because this chicken is beautiful. I'm going to be getting chicken. If this air fried chicken come out good, because I don't even think I, I think I have tried it before and I seasoned it too much and made it too salty. That was my bad. So this chicken is cleaned beautifully. Thank you, Whole Foods. But we still gonna, you know, make sure we do our part now. Make sure we do our part. Okay, y'all, before I put my seasonings on this chicken, I'm going to dry it real good, dry it off. Now, y'all may be judging me, but my best friend told me that if I'm, since I'm making um, garlic Parmesan wings, and I bought the sauce here. Also, that's from Whole Foods. Uh, I haven't tried it. I'm trying it today. She was like, don't season it because you want the flavor of the sauce to basically season it. And I'm going to agree with that only because like I told y'all before, my problem with trying to make air fried chicken, it has been too damn salty. So I'm going to listen to her. 
but I'm going to spray it with olive oil and I am going to put garlic powder which doesn't have salt in it and then this ranch seasoning which I don't think has salt in it either oh it does but it's not the first ingredients I'm still going to put a little bit of this on there and that way there's no way this could come out too salty because that really be my issue like I've tried to make chicken before and I season it too damn much so I wish I had onion powder because that's what I really wanted to use instead of the ranch but I didn't have any so I'm just gonna season it with this and I, don't, I just know some of y'all gonna be like you didn't season the chicken <laughs> but like I said I've over seasoned it and I don't want that and I really just um want to taste this and then I'm gonna put some of this cheese on it when it comes out do I have any um like minced garlic I should like knowing I'm a garlic person but I haven't really been using it like that either. So, that smells so good. Let me see if I have some. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking great. It doesn't, it doesn't look good at all. Damn, I don't. This would literally be like the first time I don't have any garlic in my house. That's crazy. Anyway, if this comes out good, we can always do it another time. But that's all I'm gonna do. And then y'all, I'm gonna put it in an air fryer. Um and cook it and like flip them over i am so excited for these wings and i hope they come out good because they are so pretty they too pretty to mess up like they're little they're actually tiny i'm not mad at the little wings damn i might not be able to cook them all at the same time i don't want to overcrowd this air fryer that sucks but we're gonna do this right because y'all know i'll be doing shit lazily we're not gonna do that we're gonna do this right I want y'all to see what it looks like. Because the old me, y'all, lazy trifling me, would have just threw all the chicken in there and, like, shook it up and did the best that I could. Like, they was, because literally, it's only four pieces left. I kind of feel bad. But I didn't want to overcrowd them, y'all. That's what they look like. So, I'm going to put this on 400 for, like, 10 minutes and then flip it. Do it another 10 minutes. And then when those are done, I'm going to do my potatoes while I'm in the shower. And I'm going to have some salad with it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I don't want it. But we need to eat that damn lettuce. So I will check back with y'all in 10 minutes. Okay, y'all. Now, granted, you know they, they're a little white because they ain't got no seasoning on them. We're going to turn them over, though. Y'all don't miss the boy. Y'all done gave me wings. But what? You know, I could have put a little salt on them, but <laughs> my blood pressure didn't need it. Um, the only thing I like to say about these, the chicken came out great. Got a little crisp on it, everything. I would want to make my own Parmesan sauce. No, it ain't a good thing because all the butter and stuff, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all know I got this from um, Whole Foods, so it's trying to be healthy. It's only 25 calories um, per tablespoon, which I guess it's okay. Uh, I just know I could have made a better one. But the real thing is that the wings, the wings is slapping. <laughs> they good. Oh, let me show you what y'all look like because they was looking pale earlier, but see... They got some color in there. They're they good. They're Gucci. Um, I'm just going to look up the um, Buffalo Wild Wing Garlic Parmesan to see what the nutrition fast is like that. Like if it's a big deal because I did get that from Whole, School, Whole Foods. I can't talk. But um, I could make my own. It's just that the butter that I'm going to use. I ain't going to play with you. I ain't gonna play, but let's see what theirs look like, cause that's the one that my friend told me to get. But y'all know Whole Foods did not have it. Where is the um? See, yeah, two tablespoons is 130 calories. <laughs> Way more, but I bet it tastes so good. But that's neither here nor there. Let me cook the rest of this chicken and like get my plate together. We are gonna make it work. I do want to try that sauce, but I also can just make my own. 
I don't have to use a hella butter, but at least I know I can put chicken in the air fryer and it's going to slap. I know you're going to be like, you just not doing it. Like I said, I've done it before and it was just too salty. That was a me problem, but we fixed it, kind of, because now it could have used some salt. But no, no, actually, again, my blood pressure said no. It, the chicken actually don't, actually don't taste bad. I tasted it before I put the salt on it. It actually don't taste that bad with just the garlic powder and stuff. It tastes like chicken. So, like... I could even put some honey mustard. I could just make me some damn wings. That's that's the big thing here. When I tell y'all that this is so good, y'all see my little salad? Y'all see my little wings? Y'all see my little potatoes? When I tell y'all, get over there, make your presentation. Come on now. <laughs> this is so fire. This is so fire. This is so fire. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I did not track this. I'm trying to decide if I want to track y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, but all I had today was my steak bagel and the yogurt. So I'm not worried about it. But um yes. This looks so damn good. Hey y'all. Y'all cannot see me. But y'all see my nails though. Finally went and got my nails done. Can we talk about how Okay, y'all, I was getting gel X, right? And I love gel X. I really did. Gel X was lit. But I got my nails and my feet done today for $130. That's tip included. When I was just getting gel X, baby, my nails alone, no feet, be like $120. Because you got to soak off and they charge you for that. Whatever. Cool. I loved it, but it, it was a lot. I enjoy getting nails and feet done for $100. Cool. Nothing is wrong with my nails, but like I wanted to see a color palette because I know I either gonna get French tip or like a new color. And they gave me first, he I was like, Well, can I see a color palette? Right? So he gave me this book of colors, and it had like I'm gonna be generous 35 colors, it wasn't a lot of colors. The colors was bright and or like gray, or just it wasn't what I was going for. And I was like, You don't have nothing else. And he acted like he didn't want to have nothing else. So I don't know if he didn't want to go get it or whatever, because I, I know this nail salon got more than this. I've been there before. So he was like, You don't want the powder. He gave me the book that showed me powder colors. Same thing, it didn't have that many colors in it. I picked the color in the book, and he was like, Okay, well, these are powders, but I'm gonna go get a gel that's similar. It's nothing wrong with this, but. I didn't enjoy my experience for the money that I pay. I want to pick from a million colors. I want to see every fucking color of gel that you have in there because I want to pick what I want to pick. This was not what I was going for, really. It's okay. Like I said, it's a neutral. I don't really care, but that's not the point. Anyway, that's done. Whatever. The nails are done. Honestly, y'all, the nails had to be done. It's been over a month. They was looking real bad. They was going to lift up in a minute anyway, so come on, whatever. So I went to the store and I bought groceries for the week. And I was like, well, let me show them what I bought. Mm -hmm. I bought things that I don't need. Like these Alani New Juicy Peaches are the best thing ever. Like, I'm sorry I'm drinking them at this point because they taste amazing. I know y'all are mad at me with my energy drinks. And y'all telling me to leave pre-work and all that alone. Y'all, I'm sorry, but I've been on... Why is these dogs fighting on the balcony? I've been on pre-workout and energy drinks. I've been working out consistently since 2018, maybe 19. We're going to go with 19. Don't even matter. Years is the point. Years. Years. I didn't take my blood pressure this morning. I forgot. Or I didn't take my blood pressure pill. So we'll see. I'll take it. I'm not going to take it tonight. I'm just going to take my blood pressure. I don't know. But I've been on I, like my energy stuff. I go to the gym. Um, I was in the gym two hours a day. Two hours today on that doggone Oxy Shred Hardcore. That shit. We'll talk about that later. I don't know what y'all want me to do. I honestly think that it's just genetics because everybody in my family has it pretty much. For the most part, not everybody, but you know. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Immediate family anyway. Yeah. And someone else said like, yeah, I've been on blood pressure since I was 24. I'm not overweight or not this. It's hereditary. I don't know what to tell y'all. I know y'all want something to be wrong and y'all want me to... I don't know what you want. But let me tell you this. We're here for a good not time and not a long time. I know some people going to be pissed about that or bothered by that. But we're going to die from something. If me going to the gym amped up on pre-workout make my life better, and it does, 
literally the gym is i know this sounds sad but i don't really care because it's not a bad habit the gym is the highlight of my life when i'm dating i'm gonna take talk to y'all about me serial dating soon but it's not the point the point here is that when somebody asks me like god to be like what do you like to do i can't think of shit to tell them besides work out that's what i want to do with my life I want to work out. I want to be pumped up on energy working out, okay? And then I want to come home and eat. Anyway, ran over. All right. <laughs> I got the uh, Parmesan garlic sauce that I wanted, y'all, from Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to have wings. I didn't even buy no wings because I did look at Publix wings. And then I ain't trying to say nothing was wrong with Publix wings. But they wasn't pretty and little like the Whole Food wings. So I just bought it because... I wanted to have it so whenever i buy wings again or i might even do it with some tenders i don't have that either but the point whenever i get me some chicken i ain't got to worry about having sauce since we all on there i also bought the garlic parmesan seasoning from weber's thought that was cool so i picked some of that up i got some chicago steak seasoning for my hamburger meat i had i got popcorn seasoning <laughs> seasoned up seasoned up remember we didn't have no garlic yesterday so i made sure i got some garlic paste and um Oh, y'all. I got onion powder. Let's just keep the seasoning going. I got onion powder. Girl got Twix seasoning for my oatmeal to just, you know, make it interesting. Um, I was going to say, it ain't it is sugar. Why does it have no nutrition facts on here? I wish I would have known that far about it. Anyway, got some Gouda cheese. Got some hot sauce from my popcorn that I bought all the seasoning for. The other day, I was craving popcorn and hot sauce. I haven't had popcorn with hot sauce since I was in high school. I don't know why I was craving popcorn and hot sauce, but baby girl was craving popcorn and hot sauce. Something else they be slapping, popcorn with jalapenos. Why do I think I have jalapenos in my house? From that time, I'm gonna make them pizza, but I don't know what happened to my jalapenos. Anyway, whatever, girl. I had ground beef for protein purposes for the week. Um, also, Publix had these um, shrimp, like, this is crazy that I bought these, but I actually ate one in the car. The shrimp snack cup is 150 calories for like this shrimp and um, cocktail sauce in there. Tow it up. Tow it up. I bought another one, but I ate it. Tow it up, baby. Tow it up. I bought some tilapia, and I haven't had tilapia in so long. But I was kind of sleep getting a little tired of salmon, but I bought salmon. But I bought some tilapia for something like mostly, mostly for like a lunch. Because I can pop these in the air fryer. Boom. Eat it with some rice or whatever. I got some um, vegetable slaw. Because I like to mix that in with my rice when I have like fish or something. Y'all know I am addicted to these damn Publix Deli potatoes. These are the rosemary potatoes, y'all. I love these. These, I'll eat on these for a couple of days. Y'all know I don't like to cook my food. So yeah, I like to buy it already cooked and I still put it in the air fryer, which I know I could do with raw potatoes. But yeah, they're so good. And then I got mozzarella provolone, shredded cheese, because actually I seen, I forgot where I seen this recipe at, it don't matter. Somebody had some ground beef, rice, peppers and onions and mushrooms. And they put like cheese on top of it, don't that sound good? It was kind of like a cheese steak melt like in a bowl. So yeah. And here is the mushroom for that. I actually am loving mushrooms right now. I had a mushroom flatbread pizza last weekend. Yeah. So I got that. I got something that I did not need, y'all. I got this Tex-Mix queso with brisket dip. Yeah, we're going to have to keep this. It's basically meat and cheese. <laughs> we'll probably eat that this weekend, like, to snack on something. And so I got tortilla chips to go with it as well. Yeah, I shouldn't have got that. I got this one crunch bar because I wanted to try it. It's like um, a Rice Krispie treat kind of like. Uh, and it is 140 calories and 12 grams of protein. So like a protein bar, but it's like a Rice Krispie version. So I was like, well, let me see if that's good. Of course, we got egg whites. Y'all know why. We have the deli meats for sandwiches. Okay. I also finally found the sun-dried tomato wrap. Because remember, y'all, I got the spinach ones that one time and I was like, these don't taste like shit. And y'all was like, but the sun-dried tomato one slap. So I was like, all right, cool. They better slap too. I'm going to slap y'all. <laughs> Look, they better be good. Here is my bourbon salmon. I actually haven't had salmon in like two weeks. So I got that. Um, and then this bag is literally just full of protein yogurt. Or not protein yogurt, but the ratio yogurt. Now, 
Y'all know this is the one that I always get, like the 25 gram one. I do not know because they don't say like Greek yogurt. So I don't even know if this is Greek yogurt, the one that's 25 grams of protein, but you would think so. But this one says ratio. Oh, this says ratio protein and this says ratio keto. So they're both low in sugar. The protein one, which the one I should be having, is 170 calories, 25 grams of protein. That's amazing. It is. But the keto one has different flavors. Like this is coconut. I got a peach. The protein one does it come in that. Now, I don't know why the keto one is 200 calories and only 15 grams of protein. But I want to taste them and see if I like them. And they got different flavors. Like they got mixed berry. They had dark cherry. This is coconut. This is peach. So I got two and then I just got the rest of my regular ones that I get. So that's the groceries I got for the week. Okay, y'all. It is set in stone that I do not know how to take my blood pressure. I just sat there to try to take my blood pressure the first time I took it. It was 122, I think, over 105. And I was like, that bottom number is high. I've never seen it be drastically different like that. So I was like, okay, let me check it again. Then it was 133 over like 104. Okay. Hmm. So I sat there, waited like three, four, five minutes. Let me check it again. Now it's 138 over like 102. I think that cuff is too little for my arm or some shit. I don't know. I know that some of y'all were saying like these things are inaccurate. Which is why I didn't want to get it because money wasted. I just need to go to fucking Publix. <laughs> but I know I'm not going to do it every day. I know I'm going to be checking it every day. I didn't take that blood pressure pill today. But it was... That ain't even had nothing to do with it. The way that it's just jumping all over is what is concerning me. Like, I this was literally like all within the same 10 minutes. I don't know. Look, child. I'm about to go. Today, I did not even vlog, which y'all know I went and got my nails and stuff done and I showed y'all the groceries. That was all I could do today. I don't even know why we still vlogging. <laughs> I guess because I have a vlog that just went up and so I was like, well, I ain't in no rush to post this. But, um, yeah. I'm about to eat. I'm going to eat the same thing that I ate yesterday, the leftover wings, some Aram potatoes, the rosemary potatoes, and some salad. And I'm going to holler.